John 6, verse 10. Stand when you have it. Ephesians 6, verse 16. Strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, Stand firm, then with a belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to this, take up the shield of faith, with with which you can extinguish all the flame arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Let us pray. Good God, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up this morning and giving us the strength to get out of our beds and come back into your house. We pray that we just have a great service and a great week. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
Dakota. How many you love the Lord? Hallelujah. He's just all right. He's just all right. You know, we always start off like this. Come on. I love you.
to survive. He gave us life more abundantly. Amen. 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 Everyone, please stand. Take this moment. And talk to God. Take this moment and talk to him. Talk to him how you talk to your best friend. He's looking for transparency. Talk to him. Talk to him. I know some of you have talked to him in a long time. He's waiting on you. He's not too far from you. He said he would never leave us nor forsake us. I will be with you. I will be with you. God, we just thank you. We thank you for what you're doing. 
Jesus, we thank you for what you're doing. We just want to say thank you. We thank you for being here. You said when two or three are gathered, you're in the midst. Jesus, I come to you humbly, Lord God. We come to you as friend, your son, your daughters. We come to you to say thank you. We thank you for everything that you have done, what you're doing now, and what you're going to do. We thank you for residing in us. We thank you for abiding in us as we abide in you. And even though we go through trials and tribulations, we already overcame. We don't look to the left, nor to the right, but we look up. Because you said, look to the hills for which cometh our help. Because all our help, all our help comes from you. Lord God, we come to you to say thank you. We worship for who you are. For what who you are. Yes, we praise you for what you have done, but we worship you because you are seeking for those who worship in you in spirit and in truth. In worship. Jesus, not happenstance that everything has happened in this world. You already saw it. You already have an answer to it. You already the answer. And as we in this world, Lord Jesus, we're not of this world. Everywhere we go, Jesus, we are light. We are light. We are you. Because everything that you created, Lord God, you created everything to be a reflection of you. We don't want to be like our brother, our sister, our, our brother, our, our aunties, our uncles, our grandma, our grandpa. We want to be you. We thank you for what's going on. Jesus, I ask you to our faith to be increased. capacity to be increased, our motives to be pure, our attentions to be pure, our minds to be pure, our hearts to be pure. Jesus, we thank you for the angels that were here. We thank you for the angels that were here. We thank you for allowing us to be here. Even when there's trouble all around us, you're there. And Lord God, help us to see that we can control the storm. We can speak to the storm. Because everything you created, everything you placed inside of us, you just waited for us to speak. 
to bring God on what you have impregnated us to do. And Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. The more close we are to you, the more we in you, the more we know of you, the more we walk beside you, and you walk beside us, Lord God, the brighter we get. We are about the kingdom, not about our own thing. We're about the kingdom. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is. It's already established in heaven. So Jesus, we thank you for being in this place. Holy Spirit, move how you want to move. We don't want to put a box, a, a, a lid on what you're doing. You want us to step outside the box. You want us to move how you move. Be led by the Spirit. So Jesus, we thank you. We praise you. But most importantly, we worship you for who you are. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, worship us. Come on. Come on, let's worship, let's worship. Let's worship. Let's worship. Amen. How many are glad to be here in the service? You didn't come here just for me. You didn't come here just to sit here in the chair. If you came here just to, for that, go. amen. Thank you, music leaders. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To people that are listening through Facebook, we welcome you. We welcome you, and I pray that this word from the Lord will be a blessing, but not only stir everything up, what he puts inside you, in Jesus' name, amen. Would you please turn with me? Genesis, Genesis chapter 1, I'll be reading verse 26 through 28, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through 28, and will you please stand for the word, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through 28. If you don't have it, please look on someone. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through 28. Now, before we read, I want you to read 
not in third person, but in first person. Place yourself in the scriptures. Place yourself in scripture. Place yourself in scripture. Amen. And God says, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. Jesus saying, do you have dominion? Do you have dominion? Do you have dominion? Do you have dominion? Jesus, I pray that the spirit of revelation will fall in this place right now. That they receive for what you're saying by the spirit. In Jesus' name. Now, I'm going to take a little back story. Now, Genesis was wrote by Uncle Moses. Uncle Moses, okay? And I started to think, okay, how Moses wrote this book, but he wasn't there. But he was there. I believe during this time, when he was on Mount Sinai for 40 days, 40 nights, God showed him a lot of stuff. So that's how Genesis was wrote, written. Now, in verse 26, God said, let us make man in our own image and not the own likeness. He told me to break it down to you. We first was created in his image by the spirit, because God is spirit. Some people say we was created by us, spirit, because he communicates by the spirit. Remember, God is spirit. God is spirit. Now, in creation, God wanted everything to resemble him, to reflect him. Everything he created, including us, he wants us to reflect him. Not your mom, not your dad, not your sister, not your brother, not your auntie, uncle, not pastor, not nobody but him. That's why we were created in this image and in his likeness. Not the likeness of your mom or your dad, no, him. It's very important that we understand that we are on this earth to resemble him. We have Listen to things that's not 
biblically correct. We have heard stuff that's not even correct. We are creating this image and this likeness. So everything you say, everything you do, everything you speak, everything you think has to align with Christ because you are the body of Christ. You are the body of Christ. I want y'all to remember that you are the body of Christ. But in order to walk with him, you have to receive his spirit. You have to be in partnership with him. When you're independent, you're doing things of your own. But when you co-dependent on him, you're doing things with him. We have times that we do things on our own. We can't do things on our own strength. You're going to fall every time. Every, I've been there. Everyone's been there. Let's be real. It's important that in this earth, in this region, in, 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 this, in this world, that he wants everyone to have dominion. Dominion of your own life, dominion of the region you're in, family. Because everything that you have, he has. We're co heirs. Think about what co heirs mean. We're co heirs. Your co heirs in Christ, with him. You're seated in heavenly places, not earthly places, but heavenly places. There's things in this region that he gave his people have dominion over. God has pointed me to this. There's things in this region that he has placed in our hands inside of us to have dominion over. But we let the things of the world bring us in fear. Bring us in fear. Last thing I checked, he hasn't given us the spirit of fear. Let me say it again. He hasn't given the spirit of fear, but power, love, and what? And what? A sound mind. So in the order, when you have to get dominion, to have dominion, you have to be co-heirs with him. Adam and Eve, before he created Eve, physically, Eve was already there spiritually. Because he said unto them, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth. You have to understand, when he created Adam, Eve was already there. Eve was already there. Eve was already there. She was created physically, but she heard what God told them. In the garden, they had dominion over every single little thing. They were, were just like Christ. They were made in the image and likeness of who? Everything I have, you would have also. When a sickness come up, we sometimes we want to say, we want to be, oh, we're sick. But Jesus is not sick. We say the opposite of what he already told us sometimes. This is not to, to, to point, to, to, to point, to, to tear you down, just to build you up. 
sometimes we give more ear to what the doctor's saying instead of the doctor that created the doctor. We give more, we give more ear to what the world is saying, what Jesus already said. Listen, church, we, in this time, in this area, in, 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 in this generation, God is raising up his people. To have dominion. And dominion means supreme authority. Supreme authority. Because God has supreme authority over everything. Jesus has supreme authority over everything. So since he has supreme authority, we have supreme authority. We're made in image and likeness of him. Remember, if, if you abide in me, Jesus said, I abide in what? You. We are spiritual beings. We have to move out this religious standpoint, this religious mindset. When Jesus was on earth, and he was on his way, and the disciples was on this boat. And they saw, they saw someone walking on water. Someone said they, saw, they thought they saw a ghost. But it was Jesus. Mm hmm mm hmm I'm, I'm going somewhere. Jesus has supreme authority over everything because he created everything. Now, when he got to the boat, he told Peter to come out. Yes, it's a faith thing, but also he was pointing out to Peter, you have supreme authority also. Okay? Because when Peter got the boat, he started walking on water himself. You have supreme authority over what? Everything that creepeth upon the earth that's in the air, everything, including spiritual things. Not just physical, but spiritual also. Remember, we are spiritual beings. Everything happens in the spirit, then it comes what? To the natural. There are spirits in the war we call marine spirit, the marine kingdom. On this way there, they knew what was coming. Jesus was telling, was showing them, I have supreme authority over you. Supreme authority over you. When I walk on this water, I'm letting you know I'm God. See, when you get around people, the light that's in you, the light. Remember, we are light because he is what? Light. We are salt because he what? Everything on this earth has to resemble who? Why do you think the angels in heaven in Revelation say, holy, 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 holy? The earth is full with your glory. Hmm? Then this is and this is an eye opener. This is a thing that God wants us to understand. You're not in that earthly place. You're in a heavenly place. You're not seated earthly. You're seated in what? But we still on what? Earth. We need to be what? Up here. 
You can't fight in spiritual battle with earthly things. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. You have dominion to speak what? Life, not death. Everything Jesus is doing and saying, he said, I, I speak what? Life. And of the spirit. We have to understand, whatever you say, even if you're joking, God still take that seriously. I've come to un understand that now. That's why we have to be careful of what we speak. We have to be careful of who we speak on, who we speak over. Because when we speak a deaf word, the enemy plays on that. Oh, this person's stupid. Okay. A couple of weeks later, a couple of months later, stuff happens. The person is mentally strange. Something going on is mentally, it is stupid. Oh, I'm broke. Okay, you're gonna stay broke. Stay, stay with me. I don't, I don't want that around me. Because Jesus came. Since I'm rich, he's rich. Since he's rich, I'm rich. I have everything. He owns a what? Cattle what? In heaven, that's what? Streets of gold, right? 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 We need wealth in this, in this, in this earth, right? Yeah. Jesus is not opposed to money. The only thing he don't like is the love of money. We look at money as a demonic thing, and it's not. It's the love of money. Jesus wants everyone to be prosperous, not ever be broke, trying to survive. He can't even have life, right? 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 Now, what we do with the money is on, is on us. It's on us. I've given you the resource, the resources, but you still got to come back to the source to get wisdom to handle the resources. Adam and Eve had supreme authority in their garden. Supreme authority. Now, once in the Bible, they asked God for something. Not once. Not once. Not once. We have everything we need and more. Because he would give desires of what? Right? You have dominion. Everything that Jesus has done, you can do the same thing. The same exact thing. The same exact thing. You don't have to wait to get to heaven to experience this. Why do you want to wait to heaven to experience everything? Jesus saw a, a, a great illustration that I'm trying to bring my kingdom upon this earth. My kingdom. My ways. My thoughts. That's why it's important that we train up a child in the way it should go. And when they get old, they won't depart. He means from his ways. His teachings. I know, I know you're stung a little bit, but it's real. Because he is the only source. We tend to focus on resources more than the source. 
If you don't focus on the source, how are you going to have dominion? Girl, I don't know if the child. G. Guys are sitting there, okay, I'm going to you to speak. You have dominion anytime, any day. I'm not, you're not waiting on me. I'm waiting on you. Time is ticking. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And you crying out to God, God, what? No. When Philip went down to Samaria, Simon the sorcerer was doing all this stuff in this, in this city. Witchcraft, sorcery, all this stuff. But Philip had dominion. He went around, preached, healed the sick, raised the dead, did everything. And the Bible said there was great joy in that city because he had dominion. Because again, he had dominion. Even Simon the sorcerer wanted what Philip had. He would turn everything around for your good. See, when you have dominion over everything, you will cause people to be like you. You will cause people to have what you have, or what you have. Hello? It's not coincidence that when someone comes into town, when a prophet or someone, God sends to town, he can do all these things, but when someone doesn't operate in that dimension, you call that person not a child of God or demonic, whatever. No, you just don't have dominion yet. He's doing the kingdom, he's doing the work. Everything that we have, I said in previous sermons, you can do the same thing. You are your own what? Prophet. You are your own prophet. You are your own prophet. You don't have to wait to go to a pastor and say, Pastor, I need, no, 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 no. You have this word right here. Now, nah, he gives the fivefold. He gives that to us. Supposed to. Now, in your family, he is by spirit. You have things that you need to have dominion over. You have things that you have dominion over, that you overlook. Don't pay attention to the ring. Don't, don't pay attention to the ring. You need to hear this by the Spirit. This, this is a distraction. I know exactly what it is. It's things in your bloodline that you should have dominion on right now as we speak. I feel it in my spirit when I'm saying this. You have dominion. Use your dominion. You are kings and queens. You're co-heirs. Ambassadors, when are you going to use your dominion? When are you going to speak? Are you going to let what's going on have its way, or are you going to stop with you? Your mindset, is it going to stop with you, or are you going to keep going, keep, keep going on? Everyone in the Bible had dominion. Moses had dominion. Joshua had dominion. Noah had dominion. Adam and Eve had dominion. Prophet Ezekiel had dominion. David had dominion. Solomon had dominion. 
We know you're going to have dominion. This Christian walk is not an easy, is not, <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. This Christian walk should be an easy walk. Because when you walk with Jesus, oh, I'm walking, go left, all right, I'm going left, go right, okay, I'm going right. Because he placed everything on inside of us, right? He just trying to birth what's inside of you. Everyone is pregnant with something. Everyone is pregnant with something. You are sitting on, you are sitting on something that you're supposed to be birthed. Child, I'm just gonna wait. Okay. Just gonna wait till the right time. Okay. We ain't gonna t- we ain't gonna have dominion. Vicksburg itself is. It, we have a principality in Vicksburg. We do. And we, the church, the church, the body of Christ, need to stand up and take back what God already has given us. We handle things in our own way instead of moving God's way. Now, all this stuff is supposed to happen, but God is waiting on us to do the things that he commissioned us to do. But we sit back, nervous, scared, can't sleep at night, worrying, going to and fro, wanting the storm, we're not planted, we're not standing firm, we just letting stuff happen. Girl, that ain't my child. Okay. When the last time the Holy Spirit told you to do something, you didn't do it. You have that, you had that instant, that instant feeling that it's right here. He told you to do something. I'm talking about everybody in here. Because everybody God is speaking to. Everybody in the world is speaking to God, is listening to God. They just choose to listen to him more. Pharaoh, Pharaoh won, won say, but he's listening to God. That should tell you something. You is important. Especially in this, in, in this generation. You have dominion. Don't entertain things that, that you know is not going to be beneficial, beneficial to you. Now, you have the power to change everything. Or you're going to sit down and watch, let it go on by, you're going you're gonna to get up and do something. Adults, the same thing. You have dominion. This is a new age. This is a new, new level, a new generation. God said I will pour up my spirit in what? All flesh in the last days, right? He want us to be spirit led, right? Right, right, right. Are we spirit, are we spirit led? Yes or no? In your own life, in your own life, in your own life. I'm not here to condemn. I'm not here for that. I'm here to open your eyes to new things. You don't want to wait to get to heaven just to experience. You want everything to experience on earth. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven, right? Do you want to wait to get to heaven to experience? Can someone going coming is someone right here right now? Someone here right now that's going through 
confusion in mind. You have dominion over that. You have dominion. Are you going to let the confusion have its way? Or are you going to speak over the confusion? If you want to see your family change upside down, use it, dominion they give you. I'd rather be taught. Because if you have dominion, you have everything that he wants you to have. Now, okay. I challenge you to every person you see from now on, now from this day forth. Speak life into them. When pastor always expound that you must read this, you are this. You are this. You are love because what? He is love. You are righteous because what? He is righteous. You're holy because what? He is holy. So the same thing he is, you what? You are too. Don't dim your light. Don't lose what God has for you. I mean, we, get, we let stuff away. We give stuff away. You shouldn't be giving nothing away. They should be wanting what you have. Vicksburg, and, 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 and listen to me, Vicksburg is finna, hit, is finna go to a major ship. Vicksburg is finna go to a major ship. God is really showing us what's going on right now. He is trying to wake us up. Listen by the Spirit. Everything is His, so everything is ours. You shouldn't be going to and fro scared. You have angels that are watching, trying to over you. You shouldn't be scared. Jesus always said, don't, don't be afraid of the man that kills the body. But be afraid of the one that kills the soul, which is who? Him. You're made in the image and likeness of God. It's time for us to wake up. We're not dead, we're just dull right now. Because God want to do some, some incredible things in Vicksburg. Who's going to step up? Who's going to step up? Who's going to step up? Yes, it takes a village to raise a child. But can I also say this? The village has to be right too. See, we can't operate from a corner of not my, uh, mine anymore. He calls it to be spiritual. Not religious, not corner. We have to be spiritual to understand, to understand the things of the spirit. A corner mind will never understand the things of the spirit. That's scripture. In my closing, It's time to have dominion. Your time is now. We're not waiting on you anymore.
What Jesus have, you have also. Do you hear what the Spirit is saying? What Jesus have, you have also. You are the reflection of him. Shine your light so bright that men might see. But it's his light. We are partakers. Okay? Amen? Amen? I'm done. I'm done. At this time, officers, ministers, if hmm, there's someone here going through confusion.